Well, I think it's over. It sounded like it's over. I picked the stuff up and acted like it was over. I love like sleeping in the middle of the night and waking up to a blizzard possibly, but who knows? We'll see how it goes. Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to the Long Dark. And, uh, well, our Astrid, our interloper Astrid, she's just gathered up a bunch of stuff. She's forged. She's managed to get a few other things done, and we're headed back towards Coastal Highway so that we can continue to craft, gear up, and, well, get on to... Hopefully the airfield here within the next, I don't know, 10 or so episodes. I'm not trying to hurry. I'm not trying to get there in any massive amount of a hurry. Uh, there is no reason for us to be in a hurry. So I think we're just going to kind of enjoy playing the game for a little while. But there are some things that I for certain want to get done. Now, it's been a long time since I've forged in Desolation. So I'm kind of backwards from where I normally would be. Usually I forge, as a lot of you guys know, I like to forge in Broken Railroad which would have kind of made this run a little weird because that means we would have gone straight from where we started in Ash Canyon to Broken and then probably gone right straight into the airfield, which probably wouldn't have made any sense. And, well, I mean, you're trying to live for a little while, not that I'm trying to make this one last longer than a couple of hundred days, but I am putting a few things up and we are doing a little bit of post-preparation or pre-preparation in case she does live that long. Who knows what we're going to do with this one after we explore said area we might decide to come back and do a little bit more you know in-depth exploring of the rest of this stuff um i'm gonna try I'm not gonna say we're gonna try to take this one to 500 days because 500 days is probably gonna take us a year of doing this but you know hey we could at least have a little bit of fun doing some stuff and we'll be able to explore all of the new features and all the new stuff with this one so that we don't have to worry about the other one. Oh yay can't feel my hands. Do we stink at all? No. I can't see a stinking thing. And unfortunately... Wow, it's really cold. Of course, it's also pretty early in the morning. Yeah, it's, it's cold. All right. We're going to go. Wait. So cold. I'm warming up a bit. We're going to go out to uh, Misanthropes first, and then dive back towards the town site because I'd much rather go out here and take a look at some stuff. And if we can find some more clothing again, we're still short a sweater that I would like to have. And, well, you know, wouldn't mind having a couple other spare pieces of clothing. Plus, well, we, we don't need to necessarily get to crafting right now. I would like to know where this bear is. We are cooking four, so a moose and a bear would get us to cooking five. Yeah, yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. He, he, that's why you don't point out at them. They juke and jig -a jag and do that kind of stuff. But if, again, if you're quick enough and you just kind of pull in a circle, you can kind of out dodge them if you're not let them get too close to you. That is the same kind of thing you do if you want to go bear dance. You kind of go to a bear and then you dive side. Well, I can't run right now, but you kind of run sideways and then just kind of sit there and zigzag around the inside of where the bear is running wolves you can kind of do it a little bit better or a little bit easier but yeah got lucky again let's go see should be out here beach coming but i'm not going to do this one right now all right senior bear he is way over there that's good I do miss having a house over here like the ones in Stalker. When you can play this and there's houses over here, this is such a nice little spot to hang out because you got a bear, you got, you know, usually three or four deer and all of the stuff that's right here. And the interloper, they burn them down. I guess if he's over there, that means we can look in his cave. 
The reason why that's interesting is there's a backpack usually right in the front of it. From poor, some poor scared soul that whatever. That's where that book moved to. Used to be over on the other island. Or the other island. The, uh, the spot by the cottages. I don't read it. It's a waste of time. I mean, it's not a waste of time. If I had 10 hours of food to waste, I would read it. Misanthropies. Are you going to have anything good for us? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Sorry, it's going to be a little dark. I don't want to use any of the light stuff. And if I mean, if we had a sunshiny day, we'd be a little better. I'm actually kind of heavy, and I don't really want to do too much more looting. That looked like food on the shelf that time, but we'll uh, see what we can find about some food, warm up a little bit, and then we'll head back into the town site. Is there anything down here? No. How much cloth do I own? I own five. I might tear up a couple of these real quick, too. Coffee? No coffee. Actually, come to think of it, the coffee we have on us right now, we found a found out made already, I think. This one was made already, which means I need to cook it and, uh, well, you know, get the cooking skill point for it. You see, cupboards, they are bare. They're also empty. Nothing in the corner over there? Nope. Alrighty, let's go see if we get some good stuff, like some crackers, a book. More socks. Are they better than the ones we got on? Actually, yes, they are. I'll just, uh, no, this one. I already, I fixed a pair because they were pretty ugly. And you can just get left right there behind so that somebody else can have you. Yeah, it's fine. Or a very surprised me later on should I ever decide to play this one back. We'll put that right there like I, you know, I intended it to be there. Nothing. Is all I'm going to get is a pair of socks. Wow. Thank you, game. I love you, Long Dark. We got a little teeny tiny amount of food, one pair of socks, and some water. Gee. All righty then, let's go back to town. Uh, well, I, I lied. I am utterly blind. Thank you. How are we doing on matches at this point? I know we left a bunch behind somewhere. <laughs> Golly. All right, we're going to go hit the fishing hut here. And, well, maybe. Where's the bear? He's over there. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of thinking I might want to go tag a couple of rabbits down here on the end of the island and then go in just so that we have four rabbit skins. But that would also mean really, really stinky me headed into town, which would draw all the wolves out of town, which wouldn't be a bad idea. I suppose. Can we get at least one over here? Probably should actually look up on here, too, while we're at it. Uh, well, uh, nobody else but this one little dude here? Anything out here? The 
might be something over there. No, it was just the edge of the ice. All right, well, no big deal. Hey, he's sitting right there. Crunch. Where's the other one? Oh, nuts. Where did that land? I, the, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I love this game. And man, I really don't know. Um, let's go real quick over here and then I'll go catch those guys up and head into town. I know taking that much stink is, you know, a death wish, but. We'll make it work. I guess I could have come in here and cooked him. Uh, another flare. We have a, that is something I could do. I've got like a dozen of those marine flares. Although I was kind of thinking we'd save them for our trip into Bleak Inlet. Although the trip into Bleak Inlet's going to be fast. We're going to go in, we're going to go to like two locations. And that's it. I don't see anybody. I guess we'll just go grab a rabbit. Oh, you are just always so starving to death. Where if anybody ate as much food as you did, lady, we'd be just 500 feet around. All right, and the wind is blowing actually the direction I wanted it to blow, which means if there is a wolf over there, it's gonna come out here and try to eat us before we get to town. Which means I can make town safe before I go in it. See? Although the wind's blowing this way, I don't know how he's smelling me. Yeah. He's going to go over there where I first picked up the scent, which is going to be behind us, unless he sees me. So who knows where he came from? How over are we right now? We're quite ways over actually. Now he might not follow now that the wind is blowing the wrong direction. Sometimes they'll do that. Sometimes they'll lose. Yeah, he lost scent because he went the other direction. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll just bring some cloth with us for right now. I guess I could fish, but I don't have any fishing gear. All right, you're headed that direction. I'm going to go towards town. We're going to go towards the blue house. We'll peel these guys out. I'm going to grab the deer that we left over here, which is probably rotten. And we'll cook and eat it all. And that'll be the other two skins we need for a pair of gloves. Perfect. Maybe. I'm still hoping there's a wolf waiting out here coming on soon. I 
I don't know where he is. They should be here by now. Unless they're not in there. Oh, here he is. First customer. Where's the next one? Make sure that one stayed behind us. Anything right now. Mailbox looked like one for a second there. <laughs> Except it was red. Yes, we're nice and heavy, but that's fine. To my other favorite house. Alrighty then. I am going to go ahead and just burn a match, given the fact that we probably have a lot of friends outside. And, well, we'll go ahead and make a fire, I think, after I light a torch, because I don't have any reasonable ways of making fire. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. We'll peel this, and then I will say we head over to the Quonset in just a little bit. So now we need to go next door um, and take care of a couple of these things. I'm going to go ahead and leave the wood right here that I didn't burn. Plus, I'll think we'll leave about five pieces of coal right here in case and four or five sticks. Because this is kind of my favorite place to come actually base in this area. It's all right next door, but this bed is, well, it's warmer. So you could technically take off some of your clothes and keep them from being ruined while you sleep in them, which is an actual thing. Uh, or you could do a couple other things with it. I'm going to go ahead and drop those. All right, we should have enough stuff, like I said, to be able to craft some stuff, some things, some, well, clothing. Let's go over here, drop off all this excess stuff that we currently have on us, and pray for a big horned... Not that. I will learn to walk out the door and be quiet. Almost walked right into the bear. Where is he? I was hoping to see a big tall, tall feller standing over there. I mean, as it sits, if that's the case, I may be leaving immediately. No, oh, no, no, no. Well, we're not going to leave immediately. We're going to pop trunks on some of this stuff. Not really. Did you hear that, my friend? No? Could just shoot you and get you out of my life, but can't eat you. What's the point? Ah, no, 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 no. You're going to do the dance. I'm going in the house. <laughs> God, I hate it when they do that. Alrighty then. Oh, uh, wow, I left a bunch of stuff. I forgot how much stuff I left. And I left a bunch of teas, and I left a bunch of other things. How much stuff did we leave? That's enough arrow shafts to last us for a really, really, really long time. Another bow that can be made. We have several more arrowheads. And a lot of things. And no full belly, no full things. How are we doing? One, two, three. Uh, you can hold this. We'll put the one, two. That needs to get put down. Okay. 
this away before you get lost doing what you're doing. Oh yeah, and uh, we're gonna put the rabbits away. We're gonna be here for at least three or four days as it is, so we can definitely just kind of make things work. I do kind of want to figure out a way to gather up some food somewhere so we can craft some things. There isn't a whole lot of food right here except for one deer. Hey, thank you very much. Huh. Well, uh, that's going to sit over here and kind of get, you know, cured. And then we got all this other stuff that it, it doesn't weigh a lot. I don't even know why I bothered to leave it. Um, we will be trading out quality tools. The deer pants are going to take, well, we're not doing deer pants. We're actually, we're actually going to do the deer boots first because we have two pairs of combat pants and combat pants have the exact same warmth generally as a pair of deerskin or deerskin pants. So if I repaired both of these up to the same, you know, to, to 100%, they'd both be 3.6 in warmth. And a pair of deer pants are 3.6 in warmth. Now, however, they do have the 3.6 windproof bonus, but they're definitely going to be second since we have two pairs of combat pants. We can really, 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 really make a lot better difference here, more difference with the boots this time around, or again, like always. Seems like I always make the boots first, because even though these are good boots, they're very good about maintaining protection. They're not very warm. So um, we can gain, I think, I, I think it's a full degree or more on those, given, you know, what is available for you know, warmth and whatnot. Um, how much food do we have on us right now? Is it going to be absolutely imperative that we run out of here and go make some food? Yes, yes it is. I need to go find a deer or I need to go find a place that is close to a deer and we need to go hunt said deer. How much stuff have we got? We've got one broken arrow. Oh yeah, that can stay here. That can go over on the shelf. I think we're down about as, well. no, 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 no. I was gonna think we're down about as far as we wanna go. No, I don't need a million of these things. Two is fine. Two is fine. I'll hang on to that so that I can chop it up later if I need to. All right, let's go see what we can do. Ooh, ooh, you, 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 you. I'm, I'm a little, sorry, a little all over the place. Get rid of those two. Because I was kind of hoping that we would be able to do a, a moose hunt, but apparently we're not going to get a moose. So that means we need to go look for something that is around the local area that's edible other than this bear. And if the bear gets in the way, the bear's going to get a arrow in his nose actually i could probably shoot the bear and the bear would die with that three percent arrow and he would die and he'd leave my arrow gosh i was hoping for that moose We're a little tired, too. Anybody see anything? I mean, there's another car over there that I know I need to go pry the trunk open on. I don't hear him anymore. And that deer is way over there. Let's go see what's out on the ice. If nothing else, we could probably make some fishing hooks and, you know, kind of live like that for a little while. Not that I want to live like that for a while. It's no fun. Did we get this one? Yes, we did. Okay. And I ate everything except all of that, and I'm going to save those chips for a little bit.
I think they all moved on or they're not out here. That wolf is nice and dead. This is almost a blizzard, but not quite. I think there's a bear and a wolf hanging out together over there at the end of the island. Well, we'll stick our heads into this ice fishing hut really quickly and then probably run back to town and I will make a decision about what we're going to do next time. Possibly. Yeah. Running into a blizzard. Yeah, you're tired. We need to go ahead and just put you to bed while you have a, a reasonable amount of food capable in your stomach and reheal so that we can go and possibly do a little bit of exploring and getting things ready for a crafting session, which is going to require us quite a bit of time. So, oh, you're fine. Good Lord. We need three days on these anyway to get them done, and they'll be done in, again, three days. So we can definitely go hunting around the area and see what we can't find. I think for right now, I know this might be a little bit of a short one compared to the last several, but given the spot where we're at, I'm not going to try to make three or four more minutes on this episode. So next time, we're going to go do a little bit of just looting and scooting and hopefully hunting around Coastal Highway, try to get a few things, hoping very much for a moose to show up. Doubt very seriously he's going to. If he does, cool. If not, we'll go ahead and get us a deer or get us something over here. I'm not going to say it's going to be... We're, we're not going to start trying to be car eating carnivores just yet, but if we can find a deer, that would be great. Uh, we'll get him down, get him started on, and there's only going to be a couple of things I want to do in Coastal, and if we don't get some of the mementos that are listed or at least noted for the areas where they should be, I'm not even going to go bother looking for them, so... We are going to be leaving via the Mystery Lake exit entrance, the ravine that direction, and that may be in an episode or two. We're going to go through and get into Mystery Lake, get a couple of things done at the, the dam, and dump a bunch of stuff off, and then go back into Pleasant and get our bearskin coat and all that other kind of fun stuff. But we'll see what happens between then and now. I guess until then, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.